New tonight at 11, an investigation is underway after the Star City Soapbox Derby Club had its trailer stolen with about $15,000 worth of specialty tools inside. WSLS 10's Rob Mann spoke with the sheriff who says this is one of three trailers that have been stolen in Botetourt County this month alone. They didn't take from me, they took from my my kids. Del Waldron says when a thief came on his property and stole a trailer full of soapbox derby supplies, he didn't just take valuable tools, he took potential racing opportunities away from about 30 kids. Something broke on one of these cars, we had it in the trailer for them. If they needed a brake pad, it was in there. And now I have nothing. Waldron says all his employees had left for the night by the time the thieves arrived after 6 o'clock Tuesday night, stealing the trailer and everything in it right from the spot where I'm standing. I don't, I don't know why people would, would do stuff like that. It, it hurts us kids a whole lot, and they don't realize how much it does. Dell's daughter, Brianna, just recently competed in the national championships for soapbox racing. I race in the rally races that we have um, all year, and if we don't get those tools back, it's going to be hard for me to, to do that. According to the sheriff's department, the Waldrons aren't alone. There have been three trailer thefts this month alone. Right now, deputies suspect a serial offender. But the last two, it's a good possibility they could be uh, could be interconnected. Deputies described the truck they believe the criminals were driving that night to be a white 90s model Chevrolet Silverado with a red hood. Dell hopes deputies can track down that vehicle and return his trailer and tools. If not, he says it will be difficult to compete nationally. In Botetourt County, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.